Hi there, this is Bonnet the Orc, and today I'm playing Minecraft. And what I thought I'd do today is um, give a little tutorial on a particular mod that helps add functionality to your Minecraft. And it's a mod that if you're using a mod pack you've probably already got installed and the mod in question is Mind Tweaker. Now what we, what it enables you to do is to as I say it adds extra functionality and by that I mean you can effectively add custom recipes so if there's something that you a recipe that you think ought to be able to do but it's not in there, then this will help you to add that specific recipe. Um, the first recipe I want to do is one that I know is available in some mods, but not all mod packs, and that is the ability to turn rotten f flesh into leather just by cooking it and as you can see at the moment there's not there but I want to be able to cook that rotten flesh and turn it into leather now to do that I'm going to go to our scripts folder which is in the minecraft folder now exactly where this is going to be will depend on your installation um, and I'm using the AT launcher and so it's in instances and whatever I called the instance which I called this vanilla it was originally vanilla but I've added other mods to it since installing it um, if you're using something like the DNS tech pack for instance you may already find that the scripts folder has already got scripts in it but our script folder at the moment is empty so what we're going to do to start with is to create a new text document and we're just going to call it Bonwick, Bonwick's Tweaks and the important thing is to change the file extension from txt to zs zs stands for um, ZenScript which Mind Tweaker uses to change the functionality. So we've got a completely new notepad, um, text document. So to start with, we're just going to add a comment. To add a, com a line of comment, it's just two forward slashes. Add a couple of lines of comment. I'm gonna put a date code there. What's the date today? 26. Okay. As I say, the recipe that we want to add is to cook up rotten flesh. So we're gonna start off with the vow declaration, which basically declares a value. So we're going to set call a variable rotten flesh, and we're going to say that equals Minecraft, and then a colon rotten underscore flesh. Now we could just use this bit here in our recipe but this is shorter and another reason for declaring the value like this is if for instance you wanted to do another recipe using rotten flesh it's a lot quicker to just type in your own value than it is to type that in so it's if you want to reuse it it makes it a lot simpler and to end the line we have to use a semicolon 
So, but whenever you're declaring something like this, the the Minecraft part of it, or whichever mod the item is from, should be include enclosed in angled brackets. The next value we want to specify is leather, which equals. Let me open the angled brackets. Minecraft colon leather close the angle bracket and semicolon okay so that's the values of the of the two items that we're going to be using now I can add another line of comment cook Cotton flesh and turn it into leather. Okay. So, and the format for this, for the because we're going to be doing it in a furnace, is furnace dot add recipe and. I believe this is case sensitive. Um, I've not thought to try it without being case sensitive, but I believe it is. So the upper, the R of recipe needs to be uppercase. Okay. So here, and then we open the bracket, and the first thing we type is the product that we're going to be making. So it's in this case it's going to be leather and then we put a comment and then what we're going to be making it from and then we close the brackets and put a semicolon there you go so let's go back to my I haven't saved that yet but oh yeah as you can see, it, it, I don't remember <laughs> putting the furnace down, but at the moment it doesn't do anything. I'm just going to whip that out. So, and you can do this either with the game running or without it. But the first, but if your game's already running, what you need to do is reload the script. So we type MT, which stands for Mind Trigger, then reload and it says scripts reloaded. If you get an error it will tell you um, sometimes the, le the errors that it spits out are a bit ambiguous so you don't know what it is. So now if we put this in here and it still doesn't work that is most interesting okay so it would, oh yeah we reload it, but we didn't save it, did we? <laughs> Duh. <laughs> okay. Let's take that out. So now we have to reload the scripts. It always helps when you actually save the script. So we put that in there, and as you can see, the coal went. It slid up the furnace, so we should end up with a piece of leather. Ta da one piece of leather. Brilliant. So we'll just chuck that in our computer for now. Okay, so that's one recipe we've added. And we don't need the furnace there anymore. Let's stick that in the computer as well. And the next recipe I wanna show you how to do is as you might be aware, you can make wool out of four pieces of string. But you can't turn wool back in to string. So I thought, why not add a recipe where you've got the shears and the wool, and you can basically cut the wool into four pieces of string. So let's go back to our script. And now we're going to do val. 
We're going to do a variable here called any wall, and that equals Minecraft colon wall. Now we could end it there, um, but if we left it like that and put the semicolon there, that would only specify white wall. Now we want it to use any wall, so, and the way to, be, to specify a color wall is to put the metadata in, which we need another colon, and I'm not sure what the each wall is, but we want any wall. So we're going to put an asterisk there after the colon. So that means our any wall will literally mean any wall of any color. And the other thing we want to specify is value shears equals Minecraft colon shears. And again, we could leave it like that. Um, but as you know, things like tools and weapons and stuff like that, as you use them, they take durability damage. So we want our shears to be any kind of shears that, uh, well, normal shears that have got any kind of durability damage. So again, we put the colon and an asterisk. So that means it doesn't matter how badly damaged our shears are, they will still work. Okay, let's put another line of comment in. Cut the ball into string. Ah, forgot one more thing. That's value string. And I put Minecraft colon string. I haven't got a note of the string, um, so I'm assuming that I've got that right, but we'll soon see whether or not the recipe works. Okay. So, for this one, we're going to do recipes, and for some reason it has to be plural here, whereas the furnace add recipes the recipe by a single singular. And it's a shapeless recipe because obviously we don't care if the where the wool is or where the shears are. It, it really doesn't matter, as long as they're both in the crafting station or crafting bench. So let's go back here. Add shapeless, and the difference between shape and shapeless, as I say, is the shapeless you can put the items in anywhere. If it's shaped, for instance, like a piece of armor, the bits that you're using to construct the armor have to be in the right locations. Whereas shapeless, it doesn't matter as long as all the components are there. So we're going to add shapeless and make sure I'm getting this right just checking my piece of paper here if I can find it right. okay string again the output goes first, the product that we're going to make. We want to make four pieces of string, so we put an asterisk and then the quantity, which is four. And then we have a square bracket, any wall, comma, shears. 
and then we close our square bracket. And I keep losing my piece place on my piece of paper that I've got. Ah, okay. Now we don't want to just do that because obviously. We want our shears to take damage, as, just as if we were shearing a sheep, those shears would take damage. So we put a dot after the shears, and we type transform, and an uppercase D for damage, open brackets, and we're going to say it takes four damage, because essentially we're cutting four pieces of string, so we'll settle for that. And then we close with a square bracket. Then we close our normal bracket. And of course the semicolon. So that should be our recipe for turning wool into string. So as I say, the first part is the product. And the next part, which we include in square brackets, and separate by comma is the items that we need. So let's save our script and go back here. We type MT reload and again no error. So so far so good. And as you can see it says we make full string. Now if we've done everything correctly, when we take that out, the wool will disappear, but we'll still have shears, but they will take damage. And there you go, and as you can see, the shears took four damage, from, as you can see from the meta damage. Okay. Actually, yeah, we'll put those in there, and the string I'm just going to stick in there. Now the next recipe I want to make um, is basically spawner eggs. Now what I want to be able to do is put an egg in here with certain components to turn it into a spawner egg. And what I want is a gas spawner. Now that to me seems a little cheap. I mean yeah gas tears are difficult but obviously if we were making this for a zombie or something like that, rotten flesh is easy to come by and to make God, my neighbour, I don't know if you can hear that, they're going up and down the stairs and very heavy footed so I'm sorry about that. You might not even be able to hear them, I don't know. So what I want to do is make the recipe a little more expensive. So first of all what I want to be able to do is to plate gold plate the egg. Now as you can see at the moment it doesn't do anything. And the next stage that I want to do is to encrust it with diamonds. So we'll need all these items for our next lot of recipes. So we go back to our script And I think, yeah. Okay, so our Minecraft's just crashed. <laughs> and that's because of the display driver. It always goes it so. Okay, we'll start that up anyway, and hopefully it will. Reloaded by the time we finish typing in the script stuff. Okay, so we, let's put a space there. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, set up a value for the egg. 
which is Minecraft colon egg and always end with a semicolon invariably you'll find that when you're doing these scripts the main thing that you mess up on is the semicolon you'll either miss it off or you put a semicolon um, a full colon instead but you'll get used to that next we're going to do val gold nugget equals minecraft colon gold underscore nugget we close the angle bracket semicolon and then of course we want val diamond equals open angle bracket minecraft colon diamond and let's just yeah okay so there are the three components that we'll need to start with so let's put a line of code down um comment it's like first step in making oh man it's gonna kill minecraft again I don't know why this keeps happening but and not even the computer manufacturer can tell me but basically it's something to do with the Intel graphics drivers and it always happens when I'm using notepad unfortunately it's not actually Minecraft that's causing that issue it's it's notepad okay first step in making spawner eggs So here we want recipes dot add shaped because we and I believe the S for shaped has to be uppercase as I say I believe it's case sensitive I'm not 100% sure but I always do it just in case and. Before we do that, we need to do something else up here. A couple more variables. So the first one is val gold plated egg equals egg. with tag and again I believe the T needs to be uppercase I'm going to open brackets and then open the curly brackets and display colon open the curly bracket again name colon Old. Actually, I'm gonna uppercase that plated egg. Close the quotes, a comma, and then law colon open square bracket open quotes. shiny 
close quote, comma, open quotes, and smooth. Close that, and now we need to close the oops, close the square bracket, close the two curly brackets, and close the round bracket, and finally the semicolon. So let's go back to our recipe down here. So we've got recipes dot add shaped. We've opened the bracket, and then we need to open the square bracket. Now here we're open each line of the crafting bench has to be enclosed within square brackets. So here. And as well as that, the whole lot needs to be in square brackets. We need to open two square brackets here, and we want gold nugget, comma, gold nugget. See, as we, if we hadn't specified a gold nugget here, we would have had to have typed in all of that each time. As you can appreciate, just typing in gold nugget is a lot shorter. So we close the first line of the crafting bench with a square bracket, then a comma, then we do the second line. And here we have gold nugget, comma, and here we're going to put the egg, comma, and then a gold nugget. Close the square bracket and a comma, and then for the third line of the crafting bench, another gold nugget, another gold nugget, and the last gold nugget. And we close the third line with a square bracket, and then the whole lot with another squared bracket. and then the normal bracket and a semicolon. So let's save our script at that point and see where we are. Okay. We might not need to reload the script because we had actually hadn't actually gone into the game at the, to start with. So um, that's interesting. Oh, it's gone. It said there was a Naga about. I don't know why, but <laughs> let's see if we do need to reload the script. Yes, we do. Okay, so let's take these ingredients out. And type MT for Mind Tweaker. And then reload. Ah, we got errors. So, could not resolve Minecraft colon egg, which is interesting. Ah, it's because we've put an uppercase E. Save that and reload again. Okay. Now, according to that, line 26, a method available but none matches the parameters. Parameters, rather. Line twenty six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 
So here's the last one. Ah, I know what we've got here, the product. We put in the ingredients, but we didn't actually... put in the product. As I say, the product always goes first. So now, it should be correct. So we're making a gold-plated egg with those. Uh, let's save our script. Empty space reload. No error this time. Okay. And there we have it. Now we can make a gold plated egg. You'll notice that the item number 344 is exactly the same. All we're doing effectively is changing the name and adding a couple of bits of law. So let's make our. We've got a gold plated egg. The next step that I want to do, again, is all to add expense. Because I think, you know, if you're going to make craftable spawners, then they need to be fairly expensive. We're going to make it diamond encrusted. So let's take our ingredients out. So let's go back up here. Now, when we do a diamond encrusted egg, we want to make sure that the diamonds that we're putting it around we only use the gold plated egg and as you saw there with the item number it's exactly the same as a normal egg so we don't want it to use a normal egg so the first thing we're going to set up a variable for is only gold plated egg So that equals egg dot is it only with, isn't it? Only with tag open brackets And square bracket, is it, no, not square brackets, curly bracket, I'm sure. Yeah. Display. Colon. Open the curly bracket again. Name. Colon. Gold. Oops. egg close quote close the two curly brackets and close the round bracket won't it and then the semicolon so for the next stage of our recipes we're going to by using this one with this I don't know what you call that but anyway the property I guess it will ensure that the egg that we use is only that one so now we do a vowel diamond encrusted egg equals egg dot with tag open brackets open curly brackets display colon space and then open the curly brackets again name 
colon open quotes oops diamond crusted egg close quote comma and now we put a bit of law in and my graphics drive is messed up again which means Minecraft crashed again do apologize for that but until Intel and Microsoft come up with a fix f for that error unfortunately I have to suffer with it Okay, and the law is open square brackets. That's annoying me. Open quote. In here, we're going to have a thing of beauty. Close quotes, comma. and hard as a rock close quotes then we close the square bracket close the two curly brackets close the normal brackets and finally the semicolon okay Second step in making spawner eggs, and we do recipes, add shaped, and it, this time we won't forget what we were making, so it's a Diamond encrusted oops, egg, comma, two square brackets, diamond, 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 close the square bracket for the first line, and then we go on for the next line, diamond. And here we only want the only gold plated egg. And if we don't do that, it will use any egg, which we don't want. We want to make sure that the first step is completed. A comma, and another diamond. Close the second line of the crafting table. And then open the third. Diamond. 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 Close the last line, and then an oops, another one to close the whole lot. And we close the round brackets and a semicolon. As so we save that, we go back into the game. for the delay okay now I'm just gonna get a normal leg out so at this stage if we put a normal leg in because we specified only with the tag it doesn't do anything so we take the normal leg out and we put our gold plated egg in and it still doesn't do anything. Okay, I know what we need to do. Reload the scripts. So, MT for mind tweaker, space, reload. 
Okay. And it looks like I can't spell shaped. Shaped. Sounds obscene. So we'll save our script. Empty. Reload. No error at that time. Okay, so normal again. Does nothing. So we take our normal egg out. And we put our gold plated egg in. And as you can see, now, again, still with the 344 item number, which is what that is and what normal egg is. But it's now called a diamond encrusted egg. It's a thing of beauty and hard as a rock. Which is what we want. Now, we've got our diamond encrusted egg. What we want to do is put that in there with a gas tear. What we want to do is make it so that results in a gas spawner egg. So we go back to our script. Now to ensure that only the diamond crusted egg is used, we have to do only diamond encrusted egg equals egg dot only with tag open the round brackets open the curly brackets display colon open the curly brackets name colon Diamond encrusted. Oops. Egg. Close quotes. Close the two curly brackets. Close the normal brackets. And the semicolon. Okay, so that will ensure that the eggs that we use are only the diamond encrusted. As well as that, we need to. Oops. Gas tier equals open angled bracket Minecraft colon gas underscore tier close the angle bracket and a semicolon. So we've set up our only ink diamond encrusted egg and also the gas tier. So let's put another line of co um, comment in just because we can. Spawner eggs. Okay. Now we're going to do a gas spawner. Okay, so we want recipes dot add shaped, and again the S needs to be uppercase. Open. Actually, it's not shaped, is it? We want shapeless for this one but the S should still be uppercase we open our bracket and first of all the uh, the thing that we missed off up here so we want val gast egg equals Minecraft colon spawn underscore egg now we could leave it at that but that won't be a gas egg that will just be the default spawn egg which I think is a pig or something like that I'm not entirely sure so we need to add some metadata to tell what type of spawn egg 
And for ghast, it's 56. And we close the angle bracket and a semicolon. So go back to our recipe. We type ghast egg, comma, yeah, just comma. We could specify the quantity, but we'll, if we don't specify the quantity, it'll assume one. And what the hell, we will specify the quantity just for the, just because we can. So we're making a gas deck. We open up the crafting table with a square bracket. And we want only diamond encrusted egg and a gas tier. Close the square brackets, close the normal bracket and semicolon. Save that. Go back to the game. So that once we've reloaded our scripts, should produce a spawner egg. Oops, so again, MT space reload, no error, always a good sign. And to make sure that a normal egg doesn't work, put that in there first. Now we put in our diamond encrusted egg. And as you can see, we can make a spawner egg. It's getting dark, so I'm just going to take a quick nightly nap. Now we could just use this egg to spawn a gas, but it's a one-time use, um, which really doesn't help a lot. So what we want to do now is turn this gas egg into actual spawner cage, so it'll just continue to spawn ghasts. For that, what I want to do for the recipe is some iron bars on a bed of mossy cobblestone. So we want that to equate to a spawner cage. At the moment it doesn't, so we just take those out and we'll go back to our script. Okay, so we set up some variables. Iron bars equals Minecraft colon iron underscore bars. Close the angle bracket and semicolon. Val. See cobblestone equals oops, angle bracket Minecraft colon mossy underscore cobblestone. Close the angle bracket and a semicolon to end the line. The next thing we need to do is set up one for the spawner. So, bow, ghast, spawner equals angle bracket Minecraft colon mob underscore. Spawner, and again, that would be the default one, which I believe is a pig. I might be wrong, but we want metadata here. And as we said before, it's 56 for a ghast. Close the angle bracket and a semicolon. Okay, let's do a line of comment. 
spawner cages. Oops. Corners spawner eggs to be made first. Okay, so we're gonna oops. Recipes dot add shaped. Open that cast spawner because we always put and my graphics drive is messed up again. <sighs> Do apologize for that and it, it is because I'm using notepad. It's not Minecraft that's doing that. Because it happens even if I've only got not notepad open. So. Windows 10. Worse than Vista. Okay, gas spawner. We'll put quantity 1. We don't need to put the quantity, but we will anyway. And that, that annoys me. Okay. And it's a shaped recipe. So first of all, a square bracket to open up the crafting table and another one for the specific line. And we want... And it's happened again. comma iron bars comma iron bars close the square bracket for the first line and the second line we want iron bars comma and here we want a gas egg comma iron bars close the second line of the crafting bench, that's the third line ok, open square brackets for the last line of the crafting bench and here we want, I'll see, oops cobblestone, comma, I'll see Stone, come on. I'll see. Cobblestone, and it's happened again. I bet. Yeah. <sighs> see the things I have to put up with. <laughs> I'm really beginning to hate Intel and Microsoft. Okay. Close the square bracket and then finally close the round bracket and then a semi-scone. Actually we're missing some oops. There's two square brackets here because we have to close the crafting bench as well. And that's that. So Put another line of code in here just because comment oh, that's just because we can. End of file. Okay, let's save this. And hopefully we won't have to do anything else in here because this is everything that I wanted to show you is the rotten flesh to leather, the wool to string and the craftable spawners
So we just got to wait for Minecraft to load back up. Apologise for the delay. Now, ideally, what we'll do next, um, though I won't be doing it on this video, is adding spawner eggs for all the default, all the basic Minecraft spawner eggs, and same with the spawner cages. So we can make spawner cages and eggs for anything and we could make them for other mods as well but we'd have to look up what the reference is etc which is doable but I won't be doing that on video so and if there's enough space in the description of the video when I upload it I will put a copy of this script I may even extend it and put the all the Sp different spawners in. We shall see. It will depend really on whether or not there's enough space in the description. I don't know if YouTube limit the amount of text you can put in a description, but we shall see. As I say, if you're using a mod pack, chances are you've already got Mind Tweaker installed. Obviously, you can check. All right. It's now we shouldn't need to reload because we loaded up the game afterwards. As you can see. The egg itself does nothing. Put that in, and now we've got a monster spawner ghast. Now the question is, what do we do with this? Well, I have a place in my mansion, especially um, set up for such things. So we go down into our dungeon. With the gas, it doesn't matter what the light level is. Certain spawners, you'll have to make it dark for them. But with gas and blaze, which is what you can hear through the wall, it doesn't matter. In case you're wondering about the water, I put that in all my dungeons. Um, for a couple of reasons. The likes of the blaze, it does damage to them. Um, but also anything that uses fire such as the blaze or this gas the fire does damage if it sets fire to you so obviously you want to make sure that and he's dead must have a gas tier, oh four gas tiers This is a blaze. This blaze spawner I didn't make. I picked that up from the Nether. I used. Ooh, it almost came out. But we can turn and put him in the dark. The put switch is there, but we'll just leave him. So there it is. Uh, there you have it. Um. this loot so now I can kill gas to my heart's content put the egg in there as well so hopefully you've enjoyed this and found it interesting and informative and hopefully it will um, 
inspire you to use Mind Tweaker to your advantage to add more functionality to your modded Minecraft. Um, if you're using your own modded Minecraft that you've put your mods together like I have, I would urge you to include Mind Tweaker for that reason. Because um, I know this, for instance, there is a mod that just adds the likes of rotten flesh to leather which means if you've got that installed you can take that out and just put the um put mind tweaker in and do a little script and as you can see we've also got the water string with cutting it up with shears and craftable spawners and there's all sorts of things that you could add um but that's all I want to show you on the video so Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the funny pages. Goodbye.